this week on Nikita's Chaos and Unpredictable Life. That sentence wasn't exactly the way that I wanted it to be, but you get the point. Kyle, Kyle Candy Sticks is in town and we are spontaneously working on my plumbing system, which is the last remaining essential for this to feel more like a home, running water. I don't know how complicated this is gonna be. I've only plumbed something like once before in my life and it was a really basic manual system. It wasn't running water, I just had a foot pump. This is gonna be more complex than that for sure. I have to get my water pump installed, water heater, the water tank itself, my 30 gallon rectangular tank that'll be stored below my bed, as well as my water drop reverse osmosis filter system. You might remember this guy from a previous video. Yeah, I really hardly know what I'm doing in the plumbing world. So I was prepared, fully prepared to embark on this journey myself and spend all week on it. Kyle was like, we can get it done in one day and I'll help you. And I said, oh, <laughs> say no more. He should be here any minute. We are working in my partner's backyard again. My setup is still here. I'm gonna have to change that soon. So I'm hoping to be productive enough that I can take this whole situation down because <laughs> I feel bad about occupying space. Not that I wasn't invited to, but still. That's how I am, an overthinker. All right, I'm gonna try and prepare while I wait for Kyle to get here. I think Kyle just texted me, not knowing that I'm right here. He said, just pulled up. I see that. I'm ready to get to it, but also I don't know what I'm doing. Still, I should have probably watched a YouTube video. I have like an entire allergy kit and I've been having to use it every day. Nobody warns you that if you move from your hometown far, far away, you're probably gonna develop allergies. Whew. And with attachments. Ow. Water tank. Not water tank, water heater. Um, so we have to bring it up and back, which is going to go air release. Your water fill is at the top. We've come to Home Depot for parts. Parts. Parts, parts and stuff. Parts. parts. That's tiny. What the hell? This is like the most annoying part of like plumbing is to find the right parts. So that would be the input. So it's going to come from up here and then like go into here with this hose. So we need. So to, probably need another. We need something for this. Yeah, it's kind of a blur now. We looked at so many pieces. I don't remember. Yeah. Um, okay, so I need. Was that this? Yeah, this will be the hose to this one. Should we make tomorrow the big project day? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I feel like this is something that it's gonna take all day. you want to start and like continue going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll take all day. We'll put our attachments into that. Looks pretty. Yep. <laughs> it's much nicer than mine. All right. Well, that sucks. I feel like a lot of build tasks the first day is just getting set up to start building. So it's day two that you actually get to make stuff happen. That's at least how today's going. We got everything we need, I believe, and we'll start tomorrow. I feel like every build day, my van typically starts out organized and then it quickly is no longer organized at all. And it hurts my Virgo heart. It's a mess. I'm staying the night inside. Maybe we'll game and stuff. Three's a party. Where are my keys? Oh. Baby. I cooked dinner. <laughs> you gotta get some stuff done? Uh, Bought pretty much everything we need and we'll 
was too late to start. Yeah, it was like it was 7 p.m. It'll, it'll take a long time. Right. What is, well, how did they make root beer in the flavoring in general? That's a funny good question. I don't know. This is such a distinct taste, right? Yeah, hmm. All right, we've had our dinner last night, showers, a little bit of hangout, and we're ready to get back to it today. Um, these gloves are like a comfort for me, so if you're like, why is she always wearing them? The answer is basically, I don't know, except that I like it. Perfect timing. Kyle just arrived. These are awkward to uh, get at the right size. So try to tighten it to the point where that thing is going to be pointing up to the right. Up to the right. So about right there should be good. I'll just found my paint can. It's like a lot of pressure has built up from the elevation changes that I have made, and I haven't checked my paint cans to see if they're okay. <sighs> Wish me luck. Should be fine, I think. Oh! <laughs> no, it just popped. I have a paint can in mine, but it's like Probably. I didn't even, I always think about like my shampoo and stuff. I didn't even think about my paint. We're good. So I'm gonna turn it on and we're not gonna trip over the cable. How typical construction jobs work is one person's working, the other one's hanging out. <laughs> Just trade off the positions. Yep. Yep. You think that's enough holes? Yep. Oh, I'm gonna go measure. Flashy. Measure twice. Okay. Have you tried these? Mm -mm. Freaking delicious. They're about to blow up because of altitude, elevation. Try that. Best thing you're ever going to eat. Reminds me of Applejack cereal. Mm. So good. Oh. oh my god, this is so uncomfortable. Okay. Yeah. Okay, here it is. Everything's running back behind my bench and then through to my kitchen. My water heater is here. My water pump, 30 gallon tank. I better not be missing another part. Oh my God, I'm gonna lose my mind. Part A, check. Part B, check. What the hell is C, D, and E? Huh? Oh, hallelujah. It's already attached to here. Why do they do that? I'm already delayed by a couple days. I don't need this. Connect the hot water hose to the brass inlet tube marked in red. Connect the cold, la -di -da to blue. I just spent a really long time trying to figure out the plumbing pieces for my sink at Home Depot. I thought that was gonna be the easiest thing that I was gonna go in there for, cause I had to get it. I had four different tasks, four different items that I had to get. Yeah, somehow this ended up being the most complicated thing. And the associate helping me seemed to be possibly more confused than I was. So it was making it even worse. It was a disaster. 
but I think I got everything we need. So. that the sink is dropped in, I am going to take this little setup inside to my partner's sink and just make sure nothing leaks. I don't know, why not, you know? Seems good to me. Water was going everywhere. <laughs> this shower was on. So when people install these on the outside of their van, you might be able to tell that it's an absolute disaster in here. And yes, that is bothering me. <laughs> Every step of the way in the process of getting the water tank in there, the pipes connected to it, the water heater attached to the van, and then installed to the water pump. It just, it feels like, and for a period there, it was like every single step had a hiccup, either because I just wasn't thinking, like I just had a brain fart and did something that I'm like, a second later, I would just think to myself like, oh, why did I do that, you know? I kept having those, so I kept messing things up. I had my partner help me with something, and he slash we, because I okayed what he was doing, um, messed something up, so I had to order and wait for a replacement part. I lost a part that I needed, so I had to order a whole new water heater so that I could get the part. I cut pipes where I shouldn't have cut them and thankfully I can just put those back together but I didn't have the parts to put them back to together and it was late at night so I had to wait for the next day to go to the store and fix it. There's just like one thing after another like that um, and the big fat cherry on top of the chaos of today, the final day, is finding a waterfall out of the back of my van and I'm just really emotionally shot right now. I want to just share real quick some of the excitement that I'm feeling somewhere deep down. Hold on, let me make this a little more official. I'm drink out of something kind of nice. Okay, I'm glad I'm doing this. I haven't poured this into a cup and drank it yet, and it's making me feel a lot better. Hi, purified water. How are you doing? Oh my god, I was really thirsty. <clears throat> okay, that feels good. That's actually making me feel a little bit better. Okay, now I'm just gonna cry again, so. Really cool to have drinking water on tap in my van. You guys might remember this device from a previous video. This tankless water drop system has a nine stage filtration and a smart faucet that displays TDS levels and the water quality at a glance, as well as the life of each of the three filters. I built this into this part of the kitchen so it fits into this cubby. There will be a door here in the future and it just diverts from the plumbing to my kitchen faucet. This water drop is very fancy. It's a reverse osmosis system.
So it has an activated carbon filter, pre-sediment and carbon block filter, and the last big boy is a reverse osmosis membrane filter. And then it also has a UV sterilizer that the water runs through. Right now I have everything just running into this Home Depot bucket because my little gray water tank isn't in yet and I definitely wanna be able to test the system. So I just bought that bucket yesterday. This is pretty easy to install. Everything about my build <laughs> is intimidating to me. I guess just because I'm really worried about screwing it up. Even though I'm well aware that even if I screw something up, every single time so far anyway, there's a way to fix it. It's not that big of a deal, but this just felt like a bigger deal. I don't want leaks. So this intimidated me just like everything else, but it was surprisingly easy. Maybe the easiest, actually, yeah, it might be the easiest part of the plumbing system. Everything else though, drove me crazy. This came with everything I needed though. Um, there's just a couple power cords so that the faucet smart screen can display, the UV sterilizer gets power, and then the unit itself also gets power. And it comes with all that. And then from there, it's just running the water to the filter and from the filter and one waistline. The waistline just attaches into my kitchen drain. So super simple there. Everything else in my plumbing system though, I had like an issue with everything. I kept messing up things. I guess that's really all of it. I just kept messing up things and it was frustrating. <sighs> Let me list a few examples about how my plumbing has gone wrong. One starts here behind the water drop. It's not the water drop itself. The plumbing lines, the <laughs> blue one back there the brass fitting is not on tight enough. It's leaking. I've got to fix that. It's a really awkward place and it's already clamped down. I'm not sure exactly how fixing that's going to go. All of the other issues are in the garage. Back here in the garage is where a bulk of the work took place and where a bulk of the issues occurred. I was always planning on figuring out a way to do a temporary shower or like a makeshift shower rather back here outside but Kyle showed me this shower that I got off of Amazon. Very last minute decision. I just got it a couple days ago. Last night while we were in the front of the van, I didn't know that this was leaking. This wasn't on tight enough and these were on, like this, this shower head was on. So the box was initially filling up and then just pouring out. So I randomly got out of the van to run around and just look at what was going on back here, see how the water levels were while we were testing. And I quickly discovered just a gush of water coming out of the back of my van, which made my heart sink. That was super stressful. Hence the fan that I have left running all night connected to my Jackery. Yeah, that was a little bit of a roller coaster of emotions. The water flows from my 30 gallon tank to my Seaflow water pump, my four gallon water heater, and then in through the back of one of my benches to my kitchen. I had multiple issues back here, aside from my waterfall event. I almost drilled a hole into my 30 gallon tank while attaching the bracket for my water heater to this three quarter inch plywood. I also, <laughs> I had to cut these pipes to move the heater to install that bracket because I made the mistake of clamping these pipes down prior to doing that. Total error on my part. And then when I did cut them, no big deal, right? Like I'll cut them and I'll piece them back together just like I did right here. So it's an error, but that's okay. We can fix it, you know? But then when I cut the pipes, I cut them in the wrong places. Well, I cut one of them in the right place. The other one I cut in a place that didn't help me at all. I didn't, <laughs> it didn't free up the water tank. So I had to cut it again. Thankfully I purchased extra fittings so I didn't have to make another run to the store to fix that. Really thankful I did that. Like those three errors were pretty much one single task. I screwed up three different things 
trying to do one thing. So it's it's been a roller coaster of emotions for me. And I guess by now that is a theme here. It's like that one chick that once lived in a sedan for an impressive amount of time and is um, an emotional train wreck. At least that's what it feels like the past week. Uh. <laughs> it's just been one error after another. Most of them are total just lapses in judgment, brain farts. Like I'm just making mistakes that I know are mistakes. I just didn't think it through first. That combined with plumbing, like doing something that I'm not familiar with and it's intimidating and a concern of mine because I just really don't want to mess that up. I don't want to flood my van or something. That has put me in just a bit of a stressed out state. That's not very fun. To top it off, my van looks like a tornado hit it. And I'm supposed to leave town the day after tomorrow. But to recenter myself to the positive aspects of the last week. One, I had a tremendous amount of help from Kyle yet again. I can't even imagine how this would have gone <laughs> totally by myself. It was a disaster having a bunch of help. Not because of the help, but because of me for sure. Two, I have running water. That's pretty nuts. Heated, too. It's heated. And three, I have potable running water. That's huge. I now have all the core things that I was looking forward to the most. Being able to cook my oven slash stove. Being able to store food and... I've got this amazing refrigerator, running water, and then some potable running water, a closet. I was really looking forward to a closet too. I'm going to spend part of today and all of tomorrow tidying up this van, fixing issues like the leak that I've got going on under this part of the kitchen and buttoning up the drainage water that right now is just running into a Home Depot bucket. I got to get rid of that. For now though, for right now in this moment, I'm done. I'm gonna cook breakfast and I'm just gonna watch an episode of Ted Lasso or something to bring my spirits back up and to move on. Maybe I'll journal. I don't know if what I filmed is coming ac across as chaotic and emotional as this has truly been for me. Probably not because for the bulk of the emotional parts, I wasn't filming because I was busy feeling my emotions. In which case, cool. Great. <laughs> but if they are, if this is coming together as erratically as this was for me, I guess then also cool, because that's the reality of this situation. It was just not fun. It wasn't fun. Honestly though, it was a lot more simple than I thought it would be. That's everything. I could say that about, I think, everything with van building. So cheers. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I don't know. I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully that's on a mountain. <sighs>